Welcome to video number 30 in the Using iTrain tutorial series. My name is Bob. Welcome back. Don't worry, nothing's really changed on the layout. It just looks a little different because I've removed all the text that was telling us the names of the turnouts and the feedbacks, etc, etc. That text was only there to help us with past tutorials. So now it looks a lot neater and less cluttered. All I've added is a text element to denote the North Station here. So in our last tutorial, we created and saved our first station here. And we showed how to add and remove blocks manually. Now we begin looking at each of these station parameters in turn, starting in this tutorial with the type field. The station type field really only has one job to perform, and that is in selecting and listing specific types of blocks contained within the dashed area when we create a new station. The type parameter itself does not perform any operational effects during an automatic route. Its sole purpose is to work in conjunction with the autofill button to assist us in selecting and listing specific types of blocks found within the boundary of the dashed line so that we don't have to edit them manually. Let me show you what I mean. If you remember from tutorial 27, we saw that there are five types of station. The shadow station, which will only select and list blocks of the type station and or siding. Passengers will select and list only station blocks. Cargo will select and list only siding blocks. Shed will also only select and list siding blocks. And others will select and list all available types of block that are within the boundaries of the dashed line of the station. For example, at the moment, the type field is showing other, which is the default setting. So it is listing all the blocks found within the boundary of the dashed line. If we change the type to shadow station, what do you think will be displayed when we press the auto fill button? When we press the auto fill button, it will update this list based on the setting that we have made for the type. So I press auto fill and nothing happens. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed because N1 and N2 are both station blocks which are allowed within the shadow station type. So both blocks remain listed. If we change it to passengers, what do you expect to be listed here when we press the auto fill button. Press the button, nothing has changed again. Because station blocks are allowed to be displayed when we've got the passenger type setting set as well. But look what happens when we change it to cargo. 
and press auto fill. Nothing is displayed now. Why is that? Well, of course, it's because cargo will only select and display siding type blocks. And there are no siding blocks that have been used within the dashed line of our station here. And the same thing will happen with shed because that only selects and displays siding blocks too. So again, when we press the auto fill, nothing is displayed. And when we go back to other, which will display everything, all types of block within the dashed line, then we get the two blocks back and displayed again. And that is all that the type field does. It does not provide any other role in changing the behaviour of the trains whilst it's running an automatic route. It is simply a quick way of listing all the relevant blocks in the station. Now that's not a huge time saver on a small station like this, but with a large station with many tracks or a large yard, it can be very useful. For example, in filtering out free track blocks within a yard, which could be being used as through tracks. Once the station is saved, the station type provides no further function other than to indicate what the purpose of the station is. It does nothing to influence the running of the trains. Let me illustrate this in another way. Remember in the last tutorial we saw that there are two versions of the station properties window. If we double click on the dashed line we get this version which has the auto fill button. And if we open the properties using the browser window here and select properties we get the station properties version without the auto fill button. And if we come out of the editor and go to the stations editor from the edit menu we also get the version without the auto fill button and with the browser to the side of it. If we change the type to cargo for example nothing changes in the displayed list here even though cargo is meant to only display siding type blocks and nothing changes in the behavior of the station. The station type parameter is only there to help us select specific blocks when we create a new station when the blocks are auto filled using the auto fill button. Once the new station is created, the type field just provides an indication of the purpose of the station. So that's the station type field. It's a parameter that helps us to select certain types of blocks when creating a new station. In the next tutorial, we look at the selection parameter. Now, this is a parameter that affects operation of an automatic route. So I hope to see you then. And please press the like button if you like what you saw. It helps others to find this channel too. Thanks for watching.